Do you guess me? No! Because I swear, I guess you! No. Is jazz music your cup of tea? Ah. Being able to dance with them was well, great fun. You have a, a, a strong boyfriend right now, Nicole? Okay, you will. She's gonna be taken. So I have to decide who I think learned the most from me. I believe that this is true psychically, that Muna does have exposure to tarot cards and she does know about them a little bit more than Nicole knows. So it's going to be very hard to decide. You both did a beautiful job, but I'm going to give the winning card to Nicole. Yeah, you did a beautiful job. You're really based, based on instinct, based on gut feeling. And Nicole won, right? And then I forgot, oh, there's a lifeline. That means tomorrow will be probably the worst day of my life. It's so sunny out. Man, it's so pretty. Ooh. Nice. I wish this was every day. But I'm very curious to know what the lifeline will be used for. Oh. It depends on how scary that activity is. I'm pretending <laughs> we are done with the spiritual side, yeah, which yeah. I believe we are. Oh no! Oh, no. no! I knew there was something! This it is what we catch. Time to seek clarity. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Stars. Stargazing? Do you stargaze here? Or what are stars? What? The twinkle in a crystal. Oh. Ooh. Really reaching there. Really reaching. <laughs> but you know clarity, you know some crystals give you clarity. Yeah. So we're, dial we're delving deep into the spiritual side even more. <gasps> oh no. Aww. Let's do Another it. One, Do you want to read it, babe? Okay. Okay. Crystals are minerals that hold energy, and the science behind them are that it could interact with our body's energy field to realign our focus and help us function better on the daily. With a budget of $100, explore all your options together and walk out with something for you to bring back home. Ooh. Ooh. So we have to choose the crystal, or does the crystal choose you? Us. On Go in. Note. Yeah. <laughs> we started off with some crystal shopping and I went in completely blind. I had no clue what I was doing. Which one is nice? <gasps> Magic and protection. Is it nice? It's not. <sighs> the choices. This is actually quite difficult because I don't know what I'm choosing. Oh my god, I love it. I have a connection with this. I'm going to get it. <laughs> I love this necklace, but it's like a little bit too chunky for me. I feel like I'll be weighing it down. Oh, that was so fun! I mean, I am like a, a crystal lover. I have a bunch of crystals at home. I'm gonna get this. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I love... Oh, I love this. I love citrine. Every time I went back to her, she's kind of like picking something out like, oh, oh, and then this one, this one, this one, I really like it. And then I go like, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'll come back. And you know, I just found this one. Look at the colour. What time is it now? Okay, we should choose one soon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I thought, okay, we have about seven minutes. We got to pay soon. Okay, 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 I'll choose, I'll choose. So I went back. Okay, I found mine. I went back to her. She's trying to pick up another one. We may have similar travel styles, but shopping styles, I don't think I can duo it all with her as a shopper. <laughs> I said now first. Okay, so let's share our beautiful haul. Yes, welcome to our haul video. Unboxing. I think I'll start with mine because I got one item. Yeah, you only got one. I got like so many. <laughs> because I felt like going in, I just didn't know what to look out for. Yeah. But then in the end, this made sense because I kept going back to the same area and uh -huh. I knew I wanted a necklace. So yeah. I got this. I just chose it based on how it looks on me. I thought it looked the best on my skin tone. Mm -hmm. And then it just so happened that it's a tiger's eye and it's something for focus. And I did say that I wanted to start my year a bit more focused. Mm -hmm. oh, 
It makes sense, right? I don't know, it's such a weird coincidence that I picked a crystal that is focused on focus. So I didn't get any jewellery, but I've gotten like a few stones, a variety of stones. So I'm going to share their meaning with you, I guess. First of all, I got a citrine. This is like a tried and true stone that I love and I have like a couple at home. But when I saw this, I was like, I need another one. And it helps with like manifesting your dreams. And it gives me like motivation to do whatever I want. So I love Ooh. this. This is like my stone. Yeah. Like if I could only pick one, it would be this. Finally, this is for uh, moments of your life where you feel like you're really stressed out, you know. Mm. As all of us do. It's uh, called Lepidolite. It promotes peace and stability. Try to hold this. Oh, okay. Feels nice. Wow. As we were driving past the highway, exiting it, I saw that there was a cemetery and we got closer and closer to it. We're letting it get to our heads. Yeah. Okay? They won't do this kind of things to us. Are you sure? <laughs> no. Oh my god. Like, remember how they scared us at the house? <laughs> He said we are early, we are half an hour early, so I think they're just doing this to scare us. Really? Yeah, just for because we have time in the schedule. Okay, interesting. But it's in the don't day. Shoot my nervous leg. <laughs> as soon as we got to the car park, I knew, okay, fine, dead end. I'm gonna eat. That's such a bad pun, guys. But pretty good, huh, actually. Wish us luck. Ah. Make sure you come back and get us. Oh, no. <laughs> we are at a cemetery. A in broad daylight. Cemetery, so it's okay. yeah. yeah. Something it, about cemeteries are really peaceful though, right? It is, yeah. indeed. It feels very serene, yeah. quiet. But not too quiet because it's a highway. So if we need help, we can actually... Hey! Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. what I was looking at, the exit plan. Right. So I've grown up on this fear of being at a cemetery. It's scary. It's a bit like, okay, what am I doing? Actually now, come to think of it, I think I have friends where their parents or grandparents have sort of like this structure and then they are buried together in that tomb. Like this part, this one oh, yeah. is a memorial, isn't it? Such a beautiful space. Yeah. Like I just feel so in awe mm. of how peaceful and serene this Space is and I, I feel so just reading the quotes of some of the tomb just make me feel so emotional like I'm feeling emotional right now because there is one behind that says that like how lucky was I to have had dogs that made goodbye so hard I think yeah. it's just so so nice yeah. yeah okay welcome to the dark side it says there's more to New Orleans in the surface but I can show you better than I can tell you are you ready to meet me I want to say we're going to meet an entity. Hello. <laughs> what do you think of our cemeteries? Aren't it's they beautiful. beautiful? You wouldn't think that so much sadness and so much beauty could coexist in the same place, but that's part of what makes New Orleans what it is. I'm Rose, Hi. by the way. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, Rose. I'm Hi. Beautiful. Nice to meet you. Well, you're lovely as yeah, well. You're stunning. So, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm a local vampire tour guide, but I'd love to show you a little bit about why we bury our dead the way that we do here in New Orleans and um, answer some questions that you might have and take you on a, a, a very special uh, side quest to visit a, an old friend of mine. Wow. And then when she said she was a vampire, I was like, no way. Like, this is not real. I thought it was really, really cool. But I just, I like, it never crossed my mind that I would meet a vampire today. The first thing that came to my mind was like, like, is she some sort of like cosplay person or whatever? But I never ever think that they're real and I don't think they are real. Yeah. Where do people obtain human blood though? From trusted sources, donors. It's not like they're out there oh. robbing blood banks or anything oh. like that. It's yeah. something that's consensual and it's done between people who understand what's happening and that's a thing that they choose to do between themselves. Yeah. I think the idea of vampire is very individual. And Rose says that she is a psychic vampire. So to her, she kind of feeds energy from people who give her the attention. So it's not your typical concept of vampire with like fangs or like with magical powers. It is a form of subculture but if the actual immortal vampire exists then definitely not. 
let's talk about why we bury our dead above ground, because this is really important information too. All of these tombs serve a purpose. New Orleans is a city that's prone to flooding, and you may have seen the news in recent years. We've had some pretty disastrous floods. And the early settlers in this area, the early colonizers, they realized that this was going to be a problem because if the, if the area keeps flooding, where are they gonna bury the dead? But when you bury them above ground, that serves a number of purposes. One, they're, they're less likely to get flooded out. Two, it actually gets so hot and humid inside these crypts um, that the bodies decompose a lot faster, especially before modern embalming practices. And that meant that they were reusable. So we bury our dead above ground because of practical purposes, but we make it beautiful because we're New Orleans. We have a tradition of jazz funerals here in New Orleans where we will actually dance at a funeral because why not? You know, dance while you can, when you can, joy in the middle of sorrow and sadness. That's everything that makes New Orleans unique. It's in their culture to just like, yeah, this is part of life. In a way, I guess that's also celebrating the person's life because you're always there and you're always visiting and you're acknowledging that, yeah, this person had a connection with me and now I'm just celebrating you constantly. Okay, we have another card. Oh, okay. An author who was famous in the vampire community buried here on this soil. Light some candles around her tomb as you find out more about her contribution. Oh. Hmm. So this is the grave of Anne Rice, the author of Interview with the Vampire and the other novels in the Vampire Chronicles. And she is a very old friend of mine. I first started reading her books when I was in the first grade, which maybe that was a little too young to start reading about vampires, but I mean, honestly, what harm did it do? Um, but I always like to leave something when I visit my friends, so I brought oh, some blood red thank you. candles oh, and I thought so we could fitting. well of course <laughs> let's uh let's pay our respects all right there are vampire teeth there oh, are wow, wow. It's, it's beautiful Anne Rice once famously said in one of her books she said when you light a candle you are contributing to the sum total of light in the universe oh. that was something that her vampire Lestat said and I think that is beautiful and fitting and I think that she would appreciate this. I have unresolved feelings towards death uh, because I think for me grief is something I, I still don't understand fully how to do. I cannot deal with the loss of, of losing something that I've had a connection with. I guess I never really think about death in a painful way because the people around me who passed away passed away very peacefully. I feel like I've been lucky enough to, to kind of be been brought up in a way that death is a natural thing and I think death should not be resisted. We should just embrace it. The whole day I think I was anticipating something bad to happen because it has been built up that way. As long as I don't do things that mess with the supernatural world, like talking to, I don't know, spirits or something, then I'm completely fine. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Hello. I've never been <laughs> in a more stressful situation. Like it was just it's something that I I told myself I wouldn't do, I wouldn't dabble in, I wouldn't try, I wouldn't get near. I believe this is for the two of you ladies. This is Nicole. Nice to meet you. The first thing that came into my mind was, oh god. Oh shit. Communication is key. Just like humans, not all spirits are evil. If you could talk to someone from the other realm, what would you say? Open up and listen with your heart and let your fear disappear. I was very close to telling the producers that I, I really don't want. So there's another... Oh, oh th it's your lifeline. This life is line. a lifeline card. 
that this is it, this is it, this is my chance to leave. And Nicole, in this evening or in this activity, you can choose to sit out or accompany your buddy as she completes the task. My initial impressions of Ouija boards was that it was used to conjure evil. I was afraid that something would enter somebody, <laughs> like the whole room would be up in flames. So are you leaving? And this is not shopping eh, and Nicole, she took very long to decide whether she wanted to stay or not. My fight or flight kicked in right there and then and this was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna use my lifeline. Bye. I'm going. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm gonna be here with Muna. Okay, but because I want to keep her company, but and I also want to know what is this. <laughs> Yeah. You're curious. I'm curious. Yeah. <laughs> because I saw this Ouija board and I think we always associate that with like evil spirits or evil things, um, malevolent kind of situations. I know a part of her also was curious and wanted to know more, but I know a part of her was also there because, you know, she wanted to be there for me. So I really appreciate that, that she didn't take the lifeline. So, um, welcome to Hands of Fate, first off. Okay. And uh, this is a place where we like to connect and commune with those who have crossed to the other side. Mm -hmm. okay. So the goal in connecting with people that have crossed is really to clear your mind and to clear your energy and to be comfortable with where you are. So you might feel like you get touched tonight. I know, right? <laughs> you might feel like you hear something in your ear. You might feel something as well. We also, around you, if you notice the lights that are around you on the, on the sofa here, Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are EMF readers, so oh. if any spirits are around you, those lights might flicker a little bit as well too. That way it can help us understand. I don't want to like connect with things, I don't want things to be invited to be around me in the room, I don't want lights to light up, <laughs> and, like, I don't want to be touched or like, like people talking to me, I just don't want any of that. Is there <laughs> anyone specific that you can think of that has crossed that you might want to ask questions to? Uh, yeah, actually. Okay. When you said that, do, you, do I have to tell you? Who? Yes, I prefer like that way we can try to ask them to come forward and see if there's anything they want to bring oh, us. Oh my gosh, just a name. Instinctively, I wanted to say Habib because that's what I call my grandfather. Okay, uh, his name is Said. Said? Okay, yeah. excellent. Is there anyone that you would like to try to connect with as well? Yes, it's my grandfather. Okay, and what is his name? What did you call him? Gong Gong. Hong Kong? Yes. Hong Kong. I think yeah. my grandfather Kong too. Kong. Yeah. Kong Kong. Yes. I want to take hands and we're just going to say a little prayer and call them into the circle. Then we're going to put our hands onto the to the planchet and we just kind of want a one finger on it because we want to sit it there. The idea is as light as you can and then we're going to ask some questions and we'll see if it moves around or not. Sometimes it does right away, sometimes it doesn't. So let me see your hand. Let's all grab hands. Great Divine, we come to you with intention today to hear, see, and understand what it is that needs to be seen today. We call to the loved ones who have crossed and those with messages to come forward tonight, whether through the pendulum, the spirit board, or just through the mediums in the room. Feel free to whisper in any of our ears, tap any of our shoulders, and use the board for the messages. Take a deep breath in, and let it go. I'm so scared. But I want to go through with this. I want to know what's going to happen. And they were so kind to kind of make the fear go away by getting us into this like meditative state. Now just relax, close your eyes. We ask if there's anyone here that would like to speak through the board and through us who are here. We ask that you push it in the proper way. Can you show us if you are here with a yes or a no? Is there anyone here? Uh, Very lightly uh, and gently. Uh, and that just went crazy behind you. Wait, 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 where are you going? Who is that? What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you trying to, is there a letter there you're trying to show us? What's up? What is a letter? I don't know. Oh, I can see. C, B, A. Okay. Trust. Trust, I was touching it very lightly with this nail. It just like moved us from like one place to another. This is not right. This is not right. I was like, damn, why did I not use my lifeline? Is it someone specific you're trying to connect? I actually doubted that it will move. 
And then it started to move and I looked at everyone's fingers and everyone was kind of touching it very, very lightly. And I'm like, no way, no way. Like, is this really like not manipulated? I can feel you around. I don't know, I'm getting a loop of a picture. Okay, what are you getting, Jen? So they're sitting on somewhere and there's like a metal railing and they're looking out into like a river and it's like he's an older gentleman but his hair is not very black with salt and pepper it's still fairly black and he's eating something out of a bowl and, but it's something to do with like either he, I don't know if it's like where he lives or where he used to work or something like that but it's like a it's not a it's a small narrow thing of water where he's sitting. I don't know. He's just sitting there eating. So maybe it's out of his house or something or his business. When she first mentioned boat and she mentioned this man, I did think, oh, maybe it would be my grandfather. So first I was like, is it what you did? Is it where you worked? Is it where you lived? And then the more we went on, he, he he was making me feel like, no, 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 this is my <gasps> oh relaxed my time. God. Yeah. Oh my God, what? Oh my God, oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. Oh, it just hit me, sorry. Every time, like, something is accurate, I would just cry, okay? I'm very emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, this whole episode, I'm crying. Um, no, it's, oh, that's so strange, because, like, where his, um, where the family home is for him, uh, so where he came from, it is a bungalow by the ocean. Oh wow! <laughs> <With>, like boats. <laughs> yeah. And then it suddenly hit me like, like I and I've been there. Like his family home in Malaysia is exactly this bungalow where you can see the ocean from like the yard. It was specific, like so oddly specific. Do we want to do more here? Um, okay. I. Uh, 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 where are we going? Whoa, 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 where are you going, baby? What is that? Where are you going? Going to show us. There's nothing there. Let's stop a second and let's reset. Can you show us any anyone specific or any specific message? We might actually try a pendulum in a second here. Uh, uh, the thing is trying to lift off the ground for some reason. Yeah, no. Uh, it's freaking me out a little bit. It started to rise up, like it wanted to pick itself up and that's when I knew, okay, definitely not manipulated. Something is here and something is moving it. Because it only went up like one side, like this, like this, like this. Like you can tell and I was watching everyone's kind of fingers through my fear. But you know, you can kind of tell like, when someone's pressing on something. And yeah, that's when I started to to see like, oh, there is something here. I want you to grab that. Someone How do you asked like this? something. Okay. Put your hand yes, down here. No, or maybe question. And ask to show you is, yes. It is Show me yes. Bit. Is that a yes? All right. Uh, stop. Tell it to stop. stop. Show me no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so there you go, Nicole. Can and, I get you to try? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. maybe, oh, uh, yeah. Gong Gong, are you here? Oh, he smells nice. Oh, very nice. Mm. Stop. I was wondering if he's the one that was showing me the trees earlier. Stop. Kong Kong, do you miss me? Yeah. Oh, but, oh, I miss you, but, uh, is always there. And here, uh, it's okay, baby. Oh, oh. Gong Gong passed away when I was five years old and this was uh, 22 years ago now and I still remember very clearly how he looked like and when I asked the question, you know, do you miss me and I saw that pendulum move, I think I felt this wave of relief. I would probably feel a little overwhelmed. Did you feel the energy moving through? It's interesting, isn't it? 
please do not cry and Nicole do not cry on camera you're a professional and I think you can see me struggling to hold it in and then I was like oh, no I can't hold it in anymore and then it was just back and forth and I was like man I can't fight it do you have any oh. more questions that you want to ask <laughs> I'm sorry it's it okay, okay. We, we get their emotions too sometimes <sighs> when they're happy tears so some that's probably yeah. what's happening Rick, you know, uh, the guy who was also one of, uh, with one of us, he also started crying because he could felt Gong Gong's energy feeding through. Are you okay? He's, uh, he's always there and he wants you to know. He doesn't want to scare you, so he stands a little out of the doorway. You might see him over your shoulder or up to the side, but he talks about he's been watching you dance. Look at him. Yeah, basically, he's saying, well, I'm dead, but I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Gong Gong, if you're watching this somehow, and if that was you, then thank you for allowing this seance to, to, to happen and for coming through. And I'm glad that you miss me because I miss you too. <gasps> Sorry. The one thing I like about this is this is a way for you to start utilizing ways to to work with spirit and instead of just saying the prayers, this way you can interact a little bit more, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Were you funnier than I was? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'll be as funny as you are? Oh no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, serious question, okay? Ah! <laughs> no! no! No serious questions? <laughs> So do you think I'll be as funny as you are? <laughs> uh, well, um... Okay, um. stop. I've never met him. Like, he passed away way before I was born. Um, but a lot of people always tell me that I'm very similar to him, that I actually look like him. So I've been curious, and he is very close to my mom, and she speaks highly of him. So I'm like, oh, who is this person, you know? Oh, I was crying before I start. Take a deep okay, breath. Okay. Let it go. Do you think we're doing okay? <laughs> okay, stop. Do you think we're doing enough? <laughs> okay, stop. So, I mean, he was very close to my mom, so I just wanted to know whether he feels that she is safe and that, that like he's happy with how, you know, we're, we're taking care of her and yeah. The Ouija board, it's not something scary. It can be something that gives you meaning as well. It doesn't have to be connected to evil entities. It doesn't have to be dark and mysterious and all about ghostly stuff. And I think that kind of really helped us bond. And during that pendulum part where we took turns to cry, <laughs> I think we kind of just leaned into each other and kind of supported each other through all the difficult emotions. So thank you so much, Muna, for being a great friend. I felt like there was a connection. I was just thinking today, like, it's so easy to talk to her. Like, I feel so naturally open with her. Uh, but I didn't know how she felt about me. But the fact that she decided, okay, you know what, I'm going to stick with you. It was so nice. You see, she is so nice. And I feel like, yeah, I have extra love for this girl for doing that. Make or break. If Muna is someone you would travel with and duo it all again, pick the corresponding yes slash no sticker in your envelope and sign on it. Did she sign on it already? This is like 50-50 for me. <laughs> so, I am going to pick... This is the first time we're actually here, you know. <laughs> yeah, we've never hung out yeah. by our pool. I think the crow is a bad omen. Ah, I said the crow is a good omen. Oh, it's a good oh omen. no, oh. it means we're opposite, aren't we? Oh. <laughs> no, the crow has always been with, with us. Me. Yeah. Oh. You agree with me? Oh. We besties. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm really scared. <laughs> Why is this a 
problem. I don't think I can duo it all with her. No, because my fists are here to protect. To pr yeah. Then you push me for it. Why is she so shady all the time? You know, I saw that there was a coffee cup at her side table, but I will check later whether it's still there. Hey, wait. Hi. I'm going. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, yes, yes. yes. Right? <laughs> the moment of like, oh my oh. God. this whole trip, I feel like it's been a full cycle almost. Like so many dots were connected, and I think it was like even from the moment I met Nicole at the event, right? It connected from there, and then like, oh, oh, take the plane, come to New Orleans, and then like everything just connected. Like between her and myself, also like there was. So many things that just came together and it, I don't know, I think there's some sort of like magic about this place. I feel like I want to experience New Orleans more. Yeah, I'm just glad that we hit all the main points of, uh, you know, what New Orleans has to offer and I had a good time with Mona. Overall, it was a wonderful experience and I would do it all over again. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Alright. Yay, let's go! Yeah, Are we bringing your hand here like this? Uh, let, let, let's see. Yeah. This is a love yeah. story. I got up, I looked and she had a pillow over her. Why you expose me? <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, Sister. because uh, I'm expecting a lot of conflict. Because first of all, Muna lied to me. Maybe it's not even about crystals. We're just like, you know. It's actually about the channel. Clarity. Yeah, it's about, it's about clarity. Us, yeah. It's about the, twi the twinkle of the show. Uh, something, something with hey. conversations. <laughs> I will make up my own superstition. For example, when Fatin said some, you see, I got cool. So I think I'm very superstitious or paranoid in that sense. Every time I say it, the crow will call.